Hi! Hey guys! How y'all doing? Hi guys! I hope y'all are all doing real well. This is a fam uh, family friendly channel. And be sure to read in the description below for more information on this. Also be sure to subscribe and like and ring that bell so you will be notified for when I'm doing videos. Okay, I'm going to turn this camera around and show you guys the painting I'm doing. I hope you hope you can learn something by this painting. Okay, and now let me show y'all. Okay, this is the painting right here, guys, that I'm working on. It's a pretty one. It's an 11 by 14 uh, canvas. Access a canvas panel. And I really don't like to use the canvas panel, but... And I ordered some canvases from Amazon that they sent the wrong kind. This is the canvas panels. Now, right now, I'm doing a waterfall. <clears throat> and the waterfall, uh, I couldn't get it right there. So, I'm putting it right there. <clears throat> the waterfall don't have to be right there anyway. You can be uh, in a different location. Okay. I did a waterfall in class one time. Took a class many, many years ago. There you go. And uh, so we didn't paint a waterfall like way down there. I'll show it to you at the end of this uh, when I get through, okay? When I get through this, then I'll show you guys. So, look at there. Look at there. Oh, I did a, I uploaded a video about Mother's Day. And it's a real nice video. If you guys have not seen that video, check it out. Uh, it's a video talking about my mom. And uh, so I uploaded a video. And it's a real nice one. It's a very nice uh, video I did. And uh, on the video I was talking about... I'll try to find that link and put it in this, uh, into, this, into this one for you guys, okay? And you can see the video yourself. <clears throat> I'm going to try to find some links and put some links in for you guys so you guys can see some stuff I'm doing. Okay, there you go. I'll try to do it again. There we go. <laughs> okay. Of highlights and that stuff. <clears throat> these trees right here, these are not uh, pine trees. Those are kind of like a what kind of trees that it would be. Um, well, have you ever seen a pecan tree before? Those would probably be kind of like pecan trees, almost. You, you guys ever seen pecan trees? Uh, pecan trees are usually real tall trees. There we go. Oh, then we're gonna get some yet ochre. Yeah, I see. We got some yet ochre in there and that yet ochre. I saw the cutest hummingbird the other day. I think I saw that hummingbird yesterday on Mother's Day. It was at one of my feeders and I saw a hummingbird. And uh, anyway, I think hummingbirds are so sweet. <laughs> Never seen a hummingbird before. Oh, let me tell you all this. If I can film a hummingbird, I'll put it on my uh, thing and let, uh, on my, on my, I'll, I'll do a video on a hummingbird and let y'all see it. I've never been outside with a hummingbird, you know, be up around the feeders. Uh, but if I see a hummingbird, I will be sure to film it for you guys. I've seen hummingbird and regular birds uh, at feeders before, and uh, <clears throat> they're real pretty. <laughs> now, the regular birds like that, they won't, you know, <clears throat> I don't think the regular birds, uh, like the little sparrow type birds and all that, I don't think they would, I think they'll probably be afraid of me, but uh, regular, uh, like hummingbirds, the hummingbirds one will. 
Don't, you know, hang around a little bit. That's what they do, you know. They just hang around. Okay, I'm gonna wash this brush out. There we go. There you go. Reflection. Did you know everybody's painting will not be just alike? That's because we're all different. You imagine if <clears throat> what the world would be like if everybody was just the same. Ooh, I don't think I would like that <clears throat> very much if everybody was just just like. <clears throat> I like to be different. You know. So my paintings, you know, if you was doing a, a painting like this, <clears throat> yours would not look like mine. That's because, you know, like I said, we're all different, you know. And I don't think uh, uh, everybody's painting will not be just like. We're all different. And they didn't teach me that in art school. When I went to art school, they did not teach that to us. That's just something I like to think about, you know. <clears throat> I like to think about that. You know? But yeah, we're all different. We're all different. Look at that painting. Yes. <laughs> Woo. All right. Now we're going to do something else here, too. I'm going to put some bark up in this tree. Let's put some highlight on it. <clears throat> if, you ne if you had never used a pilot knife before, you probably get a pilot knife from, uh, from the art stores, or you can order them through Amazon.com. Uh, Cause me, I, I do nothing except nothing oil painting. I, I use some acrylics or uh, other stuff, you know. But, uh, back on Easter, <clears throat> back in on Easter, I used uh, acrylic paint for a craft I was doing. Some Easter eggs, yeah, wooden Easter eggs, and I was using some paint on them. I think. These uh, these paints come in uh, the paints I'm using right now. Are, I'll show you a T-bone in just a minute. There you go. Okay. I like that. Yes. Look at that. Let me tell y'all a story that right quick. <clears throat> Many years ago. Well, a few years ago, not many years ago. <laughs> Me, uh, a few years ago, I was doing a art festival, and I was playing with a buddy of mine too, up on the stage, and uh, so during uh, between performances, I took some art stuff out, and uh, so anyway, I did what you call community art. And community art is where you get, uh, you have a big old canvas, and then one person might paint something on it, somebody else might paint something on it, and it's community art, and uh, we had so much fun doing community art, <clears throat> I painted on it, somebody else came along and paint something on it, and that's what you call community art, and um, I love doing that. That was so much fun. Plus, I got to teach a little bit out there too. I got to teach. Uh, I got to teach people how to hold them. You know how to hold them. 
the, the knives, the paint knives, how to load the brushes. Of course, I'm the one that was, you know, sitting around washing brushes out. But still, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. I really did. It was, <clears throat> to me, it was so much fun to do. And um, but anyway, I enjoyed it. I really did. I really enjoyed that. Let me put the word lines in. There you go. See? Ooh, look at there. Nice. See how pretty that is? Look how pretty that is. You probably say, can I do that? Sure you can. <clears throat> you know what the best way for you to learn how to do something like this? You can learn by watching me. When you see this video, you can learn and, and you can just watch watch me. Or you can do what I used to do and watch artists on TV. <clears throat> so I uh, I got me some Bob Ross DVDs. And I still watch his DVDs. I used to watch Bob Ross all the time. When I used to get up on Saturday mornings, I just loved to watch Bob Ross. And, uh, Bob Ross was one of those people that I really enjoy watching. I could watch him. <laughs> and nowadays, I could watch him all day long. <laughs> and some of his DVDs. I think I've got a set of DVDs or something. I don't know. But anyway, you can get those sets of DVDs of Bob Ross and just have your own set and just watch them. Like I did, it's a good way for you to learn how to paint and everything. That's what I was trying to say. It's good. It's a good way for you to learn how to paint. <clears throat> if you never painted before, you want to say, "Wow, you know, I really want to paint so bad." But, you know, get get yourself some paints, get yourself some brushes, and and try this. Go for it. Try it. You never know unless you try. Right? I mean, you. You never know unless you try. I'm going to put a branch up here. I'm going to do a stump. I don't know how to do that right now. I don't have the brush for a stump. We're going to put a small tree up there. You, you never know unless you try. You know, I I was teaching my mama how to do this one time. And, uh. My mama told me everything was going real good that day, too, when I was teaching my mom how to do this. Until it came time to do the trees and bushes, and <laughs> my mama just quit. <laughs> I told mama, I said, why don't you quit for her? Of course, my mom told me, she said, well, she said, I don't have the ability and the know-how like you have. She said, plus, she said, I'd like to watch you do that. So, you know, that really touched me that day, too, my mama. When my mama told me that, I'm going to put a bush right there. And I'm going to go ahead and put one in there. But, yeah, my mom told me that many years ago. I was teaching my mom how to do this. That's pretty. Yeah. I'm going to show you all a technique I learned how to do. I'm going to wash this brush out. Okay, this is a technique that I learned how to do. It's a very easy technique for you to learn how to do. Especially if you're going to do oil paints. Let me find me a good piece of paper towel. This looks like it. Let's get a piece of paper towel. <clears throat> I don't know, it has paint on it, but it won't matter. And bar it up <clears throat> and touch those bushes and blend them. Okay, blend them just a little bit through there. Okay, look at there. And that way the paint will go on, uh, go on it a little bit easier. Now, if you take your brush and 
this anymore. Come on. Let's go into some, some yellow ochre. <clears throat> and let's do this old bush right here. Tap it. And try not to destroy all that dark on there. You don't want to destroy all of that dark. And then you lay some of that open. That's why you see it on bushes and stuff. You don't see it all what I call clumped up together. You don't see that. Let's see. There you go. Take your time when you're doing this. Just take your time on it. Don't, don't rush through. Let's see, I got some orange. Don't put the orange in there too. There you go. Isn't that pretty? Okay. I'll take this brush right here that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and sign this one. I'd like to thank y'all for watching. And when you sign yours, oops, when you sign yours, you can sign yours in any color you want to. And then anywhere you want to. You don't it don't have to be way down there. You can sign it anywhere you want to. I usually like to sign mine somewhere fine in here, not way up there. And uh, sometimes I use red paint because that's the color of my shirt. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Okay. Bye.